students i hope you watch uh, lecture number 1 and lecture number 2 in the first lecture we discuss about the functions and types of functions in mathematics and in second lecture i discuss some functions from economics that first function is the demand function second function is the supply function third function is the total revenue function and we have seen some examples of uh, total revenue function also now let us continue with the types of functions in economics now fourth function next function from economics is the total cost function as you are the students of commerce and management you are familiar with the cost function so suppose the firm produces quantity x at certain goods then we define total cost function c as fixed cost plus variable cost thus c total cost function c is a plus bx yeah c is equals to x square plus bx plus c etc here uh, c is equals to a plus bx a is the fixed cost and bx is the variable cost a and b are the constants let us see one example of this total cost function c is equals to 10 plus 15x where 10 and 15 are the constants so here 10 is the fixed cost and 15 is the variable cost another example uh, suppose c is equals to 7 plus 9x 7 and 9 are the constants so 7 is fixed cost and 9x is the variable cost for this cost function so fourth function from economics is the total cost function and we define it as total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost now the next function from economics is the profit function we denote it by p capital p and we define if r is the total revenue function c is the total cost of production for goods then we define profit function as r minus c if r is the total revenue and c is the cost of production next concept from economics is the break even point as you are familiar with the break even point in 11th 12th standard also the point at which profit is zero total profit is zero is called break even point so we define break even point if p is we know the total profit function is given by p is r minus c where r is the total revenue function and c is the total cost function so the point at which total profit p is zero so we calculate the break even point as p is equals to 0 that is r minus c equals to 0 if we simplify it we will get r is equals to c thus in other word we define break even point as the point where total revenue is equals to total cost of production that point is called break even point so we define break even point as the point where profit is zero that means the point where total revenue and total cost is equal is called a break even point now we see one example of this break even point uh, see the example suppose a workshop produces toy cars the total cost of total cost function is given by c is equals to 2000 plus 50x where c is the total cost of producing x toy cars the total revenue function r is given by r is equals to 100x find the point at which workshop will have break even point here in the total cost function it is given by c is equals to 2000 plus 50x 2000 is the fixed cost 50x is the variable cost now we have to find the point at which workshop will have break even point now just now we define the break even point is the point where profit is zero that is where total revenue is equals to total cost that is r is equals to c if r is the total revenue and c is the total cost from the above example here total uh, revenue is given by 100x so r is 100x and total cost function c is given as c is equals to 2000 plus 50x so putting the value of r and c we get 100x is equals to 2000 plus 50x 
will keep 2000 to the RHS and transfer 50x to the LHS. So, 100x minus 50x is equals to 2000 that is 50x is equals to 2000. So, simplifying this we will get x is equals to 40 that is the point where uh, profit is 0. So, x is equals to 40, 40 is the point where total revenue is equals to total cost means this point x is equals to 40 is called break even point. So, this is the example of break even point in economics. Thank you so much.